Hello everyone, and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Today, I'm going to be playing some Minecraft, and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a showcase of this world, because I do not believe I have posted any videos of this world. Actually, yes I have. I posted one about how to keep your Xbox on for longer, and I was over on the other side of the world at my iron farm. However, since that video has come out, I have realized that... Okay. No, don't lay on me. I have realized that in the settings, there is a spot where you can make it so that your Xbox stays on indefinitely. So that video has been outdated and is no longer useful. Anyways. I bet you're wondering why I'm holding this piece of sand in my hand. And that is because one of the things that happens whenever you turn a world into creative mode or use host privileges is that your leaderboards become disabled. So to prove that I have done this all in legitimate survival mode, I'm going to go over to peaceful, look at my mining blocks. So I mine 20,250 sand. If I place this down and mine it back, and it stays at that number, then it means that I have not done this in legitimate survival mode, and I've switched it to creative at one point, or done something like that. So I go over, and it should be 20,251. So that means, oh, didn't mean to go past it. So that means that this is legit survival, and I have not done anything to cheat this, and I've gotten, I've maxed out my dirt and stone legitimately trying to flatten this world. So let me just get rid of that. So this world, I have done a lot of work flattening it and just trying to make everything all smooth because I want, or when I started this world, I wanted everything to be nice and flat so I could make basically a city in survival because everyone makes them in creative it's no longer that special but everyone still does it but I wanted to be different and I wanted to do it in survival mode but since I've started flattening the world I've switched my building style from more of a um, a flat and perfect style to more of a rustic and kind of medieval style where things are imperfect and they're not completely square and they have little bad edges and they're meant to be built into hills or on top of things but oh well I'm just gonna build a garden here and do some other thing over there so as you may have noticed I have 78 levels and I have a beacon so I have gotten really far on this world so I'm wondering if you guys would like to see me continue playing on this world because I still have some big projects I want to do, such as my Enderman grinder that I'm going to build in the end, and a witch farm that I'm, I hope to build on a, uh, on a witch hut way off in the distance that way. And then, just to prove that I killed the ender dragon, here's the dragon egg. Um, so, also, I have, like, a ton of slime blocks, so I can make some cool flying machines and whatnot. And I've been doing everything with iron tools, because up here I have three stacks of iron blocks from my iron farm. But I also have plenty of diamonds. I've got 26 diamond ore, which there's a sort of cheat way to make sure that every piece of diamond ore gives you four diamonds. And this only works on Xbox. So what you do is you get out your silk or your uh, fortune pick, you place down one of the diamond ore, you save, then you mine it. If it doesn't give you four diamonds, then you exit without saving. So that's kind of a cheat way of doing it. I've decided not to do it that way anymore, but I just don't want to lose any diamonds. So I don't even know what to do with these 26 diamond ore, but we'll figure that out later. So on to the next part of the tour. So I've showed off the first level of my house, sorta. 
And I mean, the house is pretty bare inside because I haven't done that much. And for the longest time, it was just the first floor with like three walls up and it had nothing on it. And the only thing I had really finished out of my house was the pool. But I finally have been working on the house itself and I think it's coming together nicely. So on to the next part of the tour. So if you notice throughout my world, there are these little cobblestone pillars just coming out of the ground. That is because deep beneath here, there is a spawner. So in this world, I have found, let's see, how many would it be now? I think it would be five spawners. So there's a skeleton spawner here. Um, come on, sprint. Why can't I sprint? So over there next to my beacon, there is another one. There's another cobblestone pillar right there. And that one is a zombie spawner. And this little uh, tower type thing here, this is a skeleton spawner. That This is the one that I've actually completed and done some AFK farming on and a little bit of XP farming too. So let me just show you guys the inside really quick, which I'm actually pretty proud of. So there's dirt here and there's there was another piece in the middle. That was just because I was really paranoid that while I was offline, something would come down here and kill me while I was sitting in this corner here. So I put up this dirt so that if anything did come down, it wouldn't be able to get me. And then I had my dog here just in case something did and it was something the dog could attack. But from one night of AFK farming, I pretty much have enough bones to last a lifetime. And then enough arrows so that I can load up enough dispensers to kill anything I wanted. But I, I just like the style and it looks really smooth and nice because I put a, uh, a hopper minecart underneath this block so there wouldn't be like a hopper that just doesn't fit in flush with the floor. And you can switch from AFK to XP mode. So that's just one of those really nice things. And then I got a crafting table here if you want to fix up your bow if you're XP farming and you get them. So this world it has not been entirely me working on it. I've also had the help of my good friend Killer Kitty. And over here, he has been working on a little artificial village type thing, which he eventually hopes to use that giant sky bridge to get villagers over from the main village and stock his artificial village with them. So the reason I'm killing these cows right now is because I, my eventual goal for all of Minecraft is to get a double chest of every item and have, and then have an item frame showing what each and every chest is. So I have like three and a half stacks of leather almost there for the item frame. But that's nowhere near enough. I need way more. But anyway, my goal is to have a double chest of every item. And once I achieve that, I am going to be done altogether with Minecraft. And I know you might be thinking, oh no, how could you quit after that? One, I probably at some point will accidentally delete this world after getting a bunch of stuff because that's what happened with my last world that I did so well on. I had like a half a stack of diamond blocks that I had just worked so hard to get and it got deleted and I was so sad. I had, I think I had like a double chest, no two double chests of obsidian that I was going to make like a massive gold farm out of. I, I was really sad. I was just devastated when it got deleted. But it's in the past now, and I've moved on and started working on this. So over here, so you might have been wondering how I got all the slime blocks. So down here, I have a very, very low-tech slime farm. So a lot of people, they do the thing where you hollow out the whole chunk and then three blocks around it, and then you have the thing where it, the slimes will jump off the side and then there's a water channel that will take them to a killing chamber. I just have this extremely low-tech iron golem and cactus slime farm. So they'll spawn, they'll say, oh, an enemy, let's get them. They hop into the cactus, they die, and I pick up their slime balls. 
Oh, my helmet broke. Oops. <laughs> anyway. So from that, I got, I think it was like five stacks of slime block. Slime, slime block. So do I have any anything cool in here? <laughs> Fire aspect sword. Nope, nothing really cool in there. But anyway, I... Using those slime blocks, I want to make flying machines so that I can get to my iron farm and then eventually to my witch farm much, much faster and easier without having to run through all the dangerous terrain and dodge all the horrible things that might have spawned along the way. Because I'm a total wimp and I always play in peaceful mode. But that is my problem. So the next part of my tour is on to one of the more modern type things I've built in this world. And that would be a fallout vault. And this, I built this before I got the beacon, so I didn't have a uh, mining haste effect while I was working on it. And this was also like in the early days of my iron farm, so I didn't even have a lot of iron, so I was using mostly like stone tools while I was building this. So it took me a long time to dig this whole thing out. And I'll show you guys once I get to it. But I've had a lot of people comment on how cool they think it is, and that just makes me really happy to know that people appreciate what I have built and all the time that I've poured into this and just Okay, so the entrance might not seem like a lot at first, but then once you go in, you realize how much time this took. And so I'm not a professional Minecrafter by any stretch, so this is nothing compared to what some of those pros do. But for me, this is like a really big deal and a really cool thing. And so at the bottom, I have a giant radioactive symbol, and then underneath that whole thing is glowstone just to keep everything all nice and lit up and looking nice. And then over here I've got like a little garage type thing. And then I'm gonna make some sort of radiation filtering system in here so that the cars and stuff can actually come in and out during like a nuclear war. Cause it'd be bad if you had a nuclear war and you have this open bunker. Anyway, on to one of the, um, the more rustic or medieval type builds that I've, I sort of started working on and then I lost a lot of my motivation and my patience really for this because I had to sit there and wait for forever for my stone to smelt in, or for my cobblestone to smelt into stone so I could make stone bricks for this. But I have since built the mumbo jumbo super smelter so I can get plenty of stone bricks to finish this. But I started this and then just lost lost interest for a while. But this mountain is like perfect for making a castle cuz as you can already tell it's pretty big and fairly flat so I could easily make something big here and then it had it would have a nice view from my house of this but over here is one of like the best and flattest parts of the castle or where I would build the castle and then it's got like a little little forest over here where I'd make like a village type thing just something so that it would be like the castle has a thing to protect or the villagers have a place to flee when they come under attack and then it has, it has like a little lake that is connected to the ocean over here. And so I could make like some sort of dock or something so that the ships could come in and out and get food and supplies. And I'm like, I've started becoming really about the realistic part of the build. And so I would make like a farm out there or something and then have a boat going between the two just loaded up with food so that the, it looks nice, one and two, it would make sense that the castle has plenty of food. So, as I already said, I have a 
bunch of spawners in this world. And so I was actually looking for spawners when I stumbled upon the dungeon. So if I just go through the forest really quick here. <laughs> Sorry if my buttons are really clicky. I haven't gotten to, or I had the opportunity at one point to buy a um, uh, reduced clicking controller, but I decided not to because I really don't have a lot of money and those things are pretty expensive. But it would be really nice, especially for you guys, to be able to enjoy my videos without having to hear the clicky controller constantly in the background. But anyway, I was looking for spawners and I found a spider spawner. So I'm eventually going to make a uh, string farm down here out of this. But the dungeon is right here. So it's kind of nice. And I have been working on removing the stone bricks, the mossy stone bricks, and the cracked stone bricks from the dungeon just to make some of my other builds seem more realistic, like they've been aged and weathered and they're broken, but still look nice. But anyway, into the end, I spent a couple hours one day just trying to hollow this out and to build this up, and I'm pretty proud of what I've been able to accomplish because for me, this is way outside of my normal building skills skill set but I watched a bunch of YouTube videos to try and figure out how to make things look better by adding like pillars and adding cross supports and then not just having um, the logs go all the way to the ground but having some sort of cap on them that would like hold them in place but I don't know I think it looks nice you guys make sure to tell me what you think so that I can either continue building like this if you guys like it or I could not build like this anymore if you guys think it doesn't look that good. I was just really proud of it. But then down here, I have started with the area where I want to build my Enderman farm. So I can just sit down here and collect the Ender Pearls or switch it into XP mode and just get a ton of XP levels. But I have to be really, really careful because I don't want to fall into the void and I even one time, my friend, he shared a clip with me where he was in, on his friend's world, he was at one of these grinders and it was way lower, but still he was killing everything and then he accidentally left clicked and he shot an ender pearl. It hit a wall, he glitched through the wall and fell into the void. So to try and prevent that, I want to make like basically a giant floor underneath the hole of the end so that that won't happen. And even if I do fall and die from fall damage, I'll still be able to go back and get my items so they don't despawn or get destroyed. Because my friend, he was wearing full diamond, enchanted, and then he had uh, a bunch of enchanted diamond tools, plus a whole inventory of ender pearls. So that just would be really sad for me especially to lose because I don't have that many diamonds. That friend, he had spent so much time on that world. They had, I think it, they had like 20 something beacons. It was just crazy what they had. They were basically like the richest people I knew. They started building things out of stained clay even before the Mesa biomes came out. So that just shows how much time they spent just collecting resources and getting things to build with. But anyway, I hope to get to that point at some point during this series and I hope that you guys enjoy if you guys don't think that you could handle jumping in at this point in the game I could start another Minecraft world and just make sure to tell me what you guys want me to do I could also continue doing my skyblock I think I will do that some more but just tell me what you want me to do and hopefully I'll be able to do it Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all next time.